G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. Today I'm gonna to kick off a new series I wanna start on this channel where I do short and sweet videos dedicated to an individual prospect in the upcoming 2024 AFL Draft. I did this a little bit last year and I'm going to double down on it this year. So the plan is a short video on each prospect and I'll ideally have one of these out every day between now and the National Draft on November 20th. I'll create a playlist. You can click on the top right corner of this video to access that playlist. Of course, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on these new videos as they come out and members will also have early access to these videos. All right, I wanna kick this video series off with Bo Allen from Western Australia. Now, if you're unaware of him, he's a 191 centimeter defender slash midfielder. And I say slash because he has played both roles. He was a bit of a third tall defender convert who's played a little bit of time in the midfield, particularly in the championships for Western Australia, for whom he was actually captain. In the latter half of the year, Bo spent a lot of time playing for Peel Thunder in their league competition and actually became a premiership player playing as an intercepting defender for them. He actually has a claim to fame of being the only player this year that has won a senior premiership in a state league competition. No other draftee can say that this year. There is quite an interesting dichotomy in the two ways that Bo Allen plays the game. So first of all, you got him as a defender. And when you think of him as a defender, he's a super athletic, high leaping, intercepting defender who can rebound with pretty clean ball use as well. And then when he plays midfield, he's much more of a contested ball. As I said, he was WA's captain in the under-18s carnival this year and really boosted his prospects with a performance in that competition that I think exceeded what people expected of him. As I said, we saw him a lot more in a midfield role and he showed an ability to win contested footy in addition to being a great athlete and a great outside player as well. I can see Bo being a kind of divisive prospect in this year's draft. And we'll get into a little bit about where we think he might go and which clubs he's suited to, but he is a genuine gun athlete and that will help his stocks going into the draft. So the combine happened a week or two ago and he was top five for the running vertical leap at 92 centimeters, the standing vertical jump and the agility test. So this kind of just validates things that you can see when you watch Bo Allen play. He's a very explosive athlete and a very evasive running carry player too. So those are the pros on Allen. He's a great athlete and he's also versatile. Like I said, the ability to play both positions fairly well and he can play a lockdown defensive role as a sort of taller intercepting player player. He can certainly provide rebound running out of the back half. And if you chuck him on ball, he'll be a contest focused clearance midfielder. So like I said, strong contested game, explosive speed, pretty penetrating kick. I would describe his ball use as clean more so than overly damaging, but still nonetheless quite tidy. He is a great leader. He was Western Australia's captain. I suppose the thing upon which his draft ranking will hinge on is what clubs see him playing at the next level because this will be interesting. So like I said, he has proven he can play in the midfield and win contested footy. But for him to go fairly high in this year's draft, and we'll get into his draft range, you'd think that the club taking him would need to have a serious belief in his ability to be a midfielder at the next level. Clubs will need to decide, are we drafting this kid to be an intercepting, rebounding defender? And he would be a very good one at that. Or is he going to be a genuine on-baller at the next level? He may well be a midfielder, but he doesn't have that backlog of, of data that clubs can look at and say, okay, he's been a proven reliable clearance winner over an extended period of time because he has spent a large period of his junior years playing as that running defender. So there's always a, a degree of risk there. On the other hand, at worst, you're probably going to get a good rebounding defender. I'm just saying that will probably influence how high he goes in this year's draft. Now, like I said, out of all the draft prospects, Bo would probably have the most experience against senior bodies. and in the waffle level competition. He wasn't winning a heap of the footy because he was playing mostly as a defensive player, but he was still showing an ability to shrug off tackles, explode into space with his incredible athleticism. So I've seen a couple of interesting player comparisons that I think are fairly apt. So one of them is Jordan Dawson from Adelaide. Not an absolute like for like, but to be honest, none of these like for likes are ever going to be dead on. But they're both sort of intercepting damaging defenders who transitioned into the midfield. I think Dawson probably is a bit more damaging by foot. As I said, Bo can be quite clean and has a penetrating kick but probably, you know, in combination with some decision-making, probably isn't as lethal with that foot, but probably, you know, probably a stronger contested player. Another pretty apt comparison is Ruben Jinbi from West Coast. And usually when you see player comparisons, you're comparing it to a player who's in his prime and an established player, which Ruben Jinbi isn't. But they are both sort of tallish intercepting defenders that transition to the midfield. They're both West Australian. Both contested style big bodies when they're playing in the midfield and both run and carry players and explosive endurance athletes on the outside too. So with that all being said, 
what is the draft range here for Bo Allen? Like I said, I think he's going to be a divisive one and it really comes down to where the clubs see him being a midfielder at the next level. But for me, as it currently stands in late October, I think he probably enters the calculations of teams, maybe at one of St Kilda's picks. It's hard to imagine him getting taken by the Melbourne Footy Club with what is currently pick five and that might become pick six or seven on the night. And the reason that's probably the start of his range is St Kilda might, with two picks, look to de diversify the two types of players they bring in. Further to that, the back end of his range, it's very hard to imagine he gets past the West Coast Eagles at pick 12, which could become pick 15 on the night. If you're asking me to guess right now, I'll be surprised if he's still there at West Coast pick. But it is possible, so I'm just merely saying that that's probably his range. St Kilda's first pick is probably the earliest I can currently see him going, but it's very hard to imagine West Coast would pass him up if he was still there. Which teams would be suited to Bo Allen is another interesting question. And again, it comes down to the subjective viewpoints of each club. Where do they see him playing? Because if someone like a Melbourne or a St Kilda at the top end of his range, which currently seems unlikely, but if either of those clubs see him as a genuine midfielder, then perhaps they see him as not far below the top group of midfielders, albeit he is less proven in that position. But perhaps if they see him more as a running defender, that, that probably makes him more likely to fall a little bit later than that. And I would probably say he would be quite appealing to clubs in that top dozen picks who have multiple selections. And there's actually three. You've got St Kilda, you've got Melbourne, and you've got Richmond as it currently stands, all having multiple selections. And Bo Allen could appeal to them as a diversified option from something they already take. So for instance, if you know Melbourne take Harvey Langford with pick five, at their second selection, they might roll the dice on Bo Allen because they think at worst, he could be a very good running defender for them. Now, I'm not personally meaning to place a cap on Bo Allen because I personally don't think he's gonna be midfielder. That is not what I'm saying. Just pointing out that compared to some of the top midfield prospects, there's a little bit less proven history of Bo Allen being a midfielder. Nonetheless, I have feel very confident that whatever team gets, Bo Allen will be pretty happy that they've got this tough athlete with a strong contested game that will be a great competitor for their footy club. So that will do for Bo Allen. Let me know in the comments what you think of him as a prospect. Do you want your club to take him if he's still available at your selection? Give me some feedback on the format. Obviously, it's going to evolve as we get a little bit closer to the draft. And like I said, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.